Who would have thought after that slip up they would have gonna release a trailer today? Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, Dear Katie, the overview back again with another video. And I find it funny the fact that a little story time before I get into the main topic of today. So Halloween Horror Nights is going on right now in Universal, and Blumhouse is doing their whole show off of their characters. They have Five Nights at Freddy's. They've shown off a bit of other properties too, and also their upcoming movies, which showed off a bit of Insidious. It shows off a new redesigned Wolfman for the upcoming Wolfman movie, and I'm not gonna lie, I saw the picture online and I said, that's not a Wolfman. Yeah, I wasn't digging the design, and I have a feeling that, okay, maybe it's just the costume, and I don't know, from the way it looks, it's like a human mixed up with a wolf, but not exactly like a wolf human, like a humanoid wolf in this sake. I don't know, design looked kind of weird for me, and not gonna lie, as soon as I saw this pic and I saw Halloween Horror Nights, I said, let me hit up a friend because I know this friend, I met this dude at Comic-Con, and he works for Universal, like he works at the Universal Parks and stuff like that. He's been going to Halloween Horror Nights, and I was like, hey, yo, by any chance, have you seen this Wolfman design figure? Or I don't know, because they're showing off the new design of the Wolfman, and he told me, like, nah, man, I ain't see it. I was like, really? Like, you didn't see it while you were there? He's like, nah, I didn't get to go see it that day. I'm like, for real? Damn. I would have thought you'd give me a good pic so I could actually show it off at the channel for at least get it like a clear viewing of what it looks like. But nah, we got this leaked photo and yeah, I'm not digging it. A minute teaser just released and I have a feeling like they weren't planning on showing this now. I'm like, I guess they kind of have to show it now because I feel like Beetlejuice is coming out and I already know this is going to play right before it. So let's see what this wolf design looks like because I have a feeling maybe it's just the picture itself because pictures are worth a thousand words, but videos are worth a thousand pictures. So. Let's take a look at this. Grasshopper? It sounded like an animal. But I swear to God, it was standing on two feet. Daddy, are we gonna die? No. It's my job to protect you. So he actually gets bit by a wolf. That's a classic story. January movie. Yeah, for the little bits we see, I'm not getting a wolf type of vibe from it. it I already know the classic story of the Wolfman. He gets bit by a wolf, and through the cycles of the moon, he actually transforms into a monstrous creature known as the Wolfman. But I have a feeling like this movie is going to take it in a far different direction. And also because I kind of know that behind this is Lee Winnell, who also directed The Invisible Man. To me, I don't have a feeling they're going to be doing this exactly how I picture it, like the classic story, but I have a feeling like they're going to do like a mix of what the Invisible Man did, where instead of an invisible person, the Invisible Man itself was a g guy in a suit. Like he had a suit that turned himself invisible, so like that he'd be easy to not catch in the human eye. We're using little miniature cameras, but I have a feeling that for this movie and the way they're going to interpret the Wolfman is the fact that it's going to be either a rabid wolf biting a human is going to transform into this monstrous creature because he does look a bit disastrous in that picture. And also the little bits you see him in the trailer, but I have a feeling like it's not going to go into the mystical route because I have a feeling that, yeah, the Universal Monster idea, it was good. It's just that just because you had one bad movie doesn't dictate the fact that, yeah, this is going to mean that the rest of the universe you have building upon this is going to be garbage. I'm going to be honest, that Dark Universe idea, it was interesting. I didn't hate The Mummy when it came out. I'm like, I get what you were going with. Just fix this, this, and this, and you can incorporate the rest of the monsters because you already have a list of movies coming out. And you announce your cast, so I'm like, okay, I got this. But then they canceled that idea, and I thought, okay, you had something going on there, something around maybe if they would have actually done something like the Brendan Fraser movies, they would have actually done good with those mummy movies. But I have a feeling that, yeah, that was their one shot. They blew it, and now they're going to go back to stylistic horror. But 
I kind of do want the mystical sense of the fact that these are monsters. They're not supposed to be creatures. There is a creature of the Black Lagoon. But they're supposed to be something scary. Not something horrific like slashers or demons. They're just monsters. Hopefully it's good. I have my doubts about the Invisible Man. But I want to see another trailer that actually shows off more of the actual creature. Than just little snippets and teases of the actual creature itself. Alright you guys, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. All my social media is down in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.